Welcome back to Let's Play Gothic 3. This is Mr. Joseph, and uh, we are resuming here. By the way, I just kind of give you some bearings. Um, in real life, I hope you can hear me okay. In real life, I'm recording these videos in May 2013 to get started. Um, however, I suspect I'll be recording them over the course of, you know, more than just May. This is a very long game, but anyway, um, I've uploaded the first batch now, so as I sit here and play, I'm actually uploading another video in the background, and my thinking is that the particular um, areas that I'll be covering today will not be particularly graphics intensive or programming intensive such that I'm able to successfully, uh, you know, do these areas without having any lag as a, a result of uploading videos to YouTube at the same time on the same computer. And it's kind of nice to know that while I'm recording this, maybe some of you have started watching the Let's Play online. Um, although, probably not a lot yet, because I literally just finished uploading the videos within the last day or two. So I'm going to save, the, well, I'm going to save this scavenger to some extent. Um, keeping in mind that wolves are very dangerous, and, uh, can kill you, but the fact is I just finished, well I just loaded a game, and so, worst case scenario, they kill me, and I just have to reload from where I started just now. <clears throat> By the way, sometimes when I um, die, I'll show you me dying, and reload, and show you that process, but sometimes I'll probably just redo the video. Okay, so that time it got a little uncomfortably close, so I'll go ahead and push I. I'm actually going to switch. I'm going to try to start conserving my potions a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and take my roast meat, and I'm going to go make this uh, six. So what you do is you hover the cursor over the object you want to put to your hot, hot key menu, and you, t you type in the keyboard number, and then you can go ahead and click it if you want to use it, but you know, now that it's six, I can just push six as well. Also, if you hold control, this is something we'll learn a little bit about more in a, a second. Holding control in general makes you crouch and walk around, and we'll learn about that in a minute. But if you hold control... Well, where'd my hat... Um, okay. That's weird. Um, well, the point is... I, uh... I'm, hold I'm holding control, and I'm pushing 6. Okay, that didn't work. Hold on. Control, 6. Okay, that didn't work. Control, I push I... Now I'm pushing six. Okay, that didn't work either. Control click. Okay, I'm gonna have to experiment around and see why that's not working. But, and I'm not exactly sure why my hotkey menu disappeared from the screen just now. I wonder if it's, maybe I pushed some button. In any event, as long as you remember that it's six, I mean, you get used to your hotkeys pretty quickly. I know for a fact, all my hotkeys right now I can tell you one's my sword, two, two and three deal with my bow and, bow and arrow. The water's got a bad graphic outcome there from a certain angle. Um, I know that uh, five is my healing potions, I and six is my meat. What is what is four? Anybody remember four without looking? I don't remember either. Oh, fo four is my arrows, two is my torches. Okay, so, point is, you know, anything, you can push, you can always push I if that thing go, goes away, but I seem to remember it being present during most of the, the time that I usually play. Anyway, whatever, I'll figure it out. <clears throat> I'll figure out that crouch thing, too. One other thing I want to show you is if you push shift, if you hold shift, you expend fatigue, which is the middle bar in the bottom of the screen, but you start running. And that is a good way to get from place to place really fast if you need to get somewhere really fast. I kind of forgot about that when we started playing, so I apologize. Um, actually, before I start killing these wolves, I'm going to go ahead and quick save. Um, but yeah, uh, and the crouch thing, you know, I've got a good excuse why I didn't tell you about that, but the truth is, at least one of the reasons is I also kind of forgot about that. It's been a while since I played, and, you know, can't remember everything. Okay, i got a couple wolves on me here. Let's see if I can kill them without dying. Always... Always a dubious proposition. That's why we always save when we attack wolves. Wolves are by far the most dangerous enemy in the early game. And quite frankly, 
could overall be the work the uh, most dangerous enemy in the game um, if you kind of factor in you know how strong you should be by the end of the game so in other words wolves are very dangerous and you've got to be awfully careful another thing I want to mention here as I approach this guy's cabin I'm just gonna snoop around and make sure I got all the loot I can I go ahead and uh, crouch over here grab this bow One thing I'd like to mention at this point, well, actually, before I even talk to him, before I can even get in trouble for doing so, I'm going to come in here and grab his chests. He's got a lockpick and a vial, and looks like another oh, hunting bow. Um, and another chest. And another chest. Now, here's a little trick if you put, well, I'm going to tell you about that trick in a, in a minute. Jens, the guy right there, is looking the other way. He is not any of the... Oh, oh, he turned around. Okay. Hopefully he didn't see me. Doesn't look like it. We'll see. Okay, he did not see me. I'm going to talk there to him. There aren't many travelers now that the orcs are here. Have you lost your way, or are you headed for the village? I'm headed for the village. I'm looking for work, are you? Depends on the work. The mercenaries in the village are bound to need more people, provided you know how to wield a weapon. What are you doing here? I'm a hunter, but times are tough. Too many wolves and not enough game. Luckily, the orcs gave me a really good price for wolf skins. Could you teach me how to hunt? Of course I could. But what's in it for me? What do you need? Bring me ten wolf skins that I can sell. The orcs in Cape Dunn have plenty, and then I'll show you how to hunt. Show me your goods. Okay, so he's actually... Oh, wow, he's got a lot of good stuff here. First of all, some recipes. And yeah, I'll be honest, a lot of these recipes are new to me because they were not in the original, which is the only version I've played. They were added by the quest pack. So here's how you cook boar meat. I'm gonna I'm just gonna grab one of each of these if I can. If I can afford them all. Mushroom rag out, berry uh, compote, black I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, and then we've got a battle bow and a ranger bow. I'm way too unskilled to use either right now. Oil looks useful. I, I, I've never seen that before either, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. We've got a pretty good looking set of armor there as well. Um, but it's pretty expensive and I can't afford it right now. Although, I do need to sell some weapons and he does have a lot of gold. Let's see if I can turn the tables on him here. Okay, you can see here by just selling all these orc weapons, I'm now actually earning money. I'm, you know, 800 up right now. Sell all the rusty shit too and things that are worn. This is my rule of thumb. And duplicate items. Okay, so that's gonna do it for weapons. Take a look at armor. Sell the worn shield. Keep all my potions, okay. So I think that's gonna do it. So let's see the gold balance and I'll get all those recipes and I'll be in pretty good shape for gold. I could, you know, save up a little bit and buy that armor. But it requires a little bit higher hunting skill anyway, and I'm, as you know, I'm kind of saving up for the one uh, hunting skill where I can just uh, learn, I'm not hunting skill, the one skill where I learn learning points faster. By pushing C, you can see how I'm doing. I've got 70. I need 100. Or maybe it was 105. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm going to slowly creep through these woods. There's some more wolves over here, so I'm very cautious. I'm going to crawl back over here. Actually, this guy can help me. I'm going to push F5 and quick save again, and we're going to start taking out these wolves. Although the truth is, I'd much rather take out the wolves if I could skin them. But, you know what, there's tons of wolves in the game. It's no big deal. So I'm going to grab my bow. Line up a good shot to the head. Actually, before I do, I want to check something. Sorry to keep you in suspense there. Okay. Yeah, I'm using a hunting bow. I was just checking to see if I was using a hunting bow as opposed to a regular bow. Okay, headshot. Go for another headshot before they get to me. Okay, I got two headshots. Now I'm going to run over here to Jen, the hunter. There's another one of those damn bees. Guys out. I'm going to pull out my sword. <clears throat> okay. This is going okay, except for... Yeah, I'm not... Not going so well. Okay. 
So I'm gonna like run around like a frantic idiot. The wolves are still chasing me. Jens is worthless over here. Take him out, Jens. I'm very concerned because I'm basically near death at this point, and uh, well, the wolves are pursuing me very aggressively. Whoa! I almost got tripped up on that rock. And Jens ain't doing shit. What a douchebag. Well, let's see what happens. Come on, Jens. Get a shot in. Where'd you go? Where the fuck did Jens go? There he is. What a worthless piece of shit. My goal is to kind of lead the wolves into a place where Jens can actually get to them. This is really ridiculous. I feel... I feel pretty... pretty sad right now, you know, that I'm having to do this. Um... Come on, Jens. Get it. Good. Good. I think he might have gotten one there. Go and get the other one. I'm just gonna kind of go in a circle. Until Jens gets him. I'm just gonna zoom out. You can zoom out and end by scrolling your mouse button. That gives me a little bit better angle to see what Jens is doing and see how close the wolf is to actually getting me. Okay, the wolf just went right through Jens. There we go. Once Jens makes contact, it's pretty much the wolf is going to go after Jens. So I'm going to push 5 and use a healing potion. And I'll try to return the favor and be a crappy companion to Jens. You showed him. Shot him right in the ass. Miserable creature. Okay. Well, that wasn't quite as graceful as I'd hoped, but hey, that does it for this episode of Let's Play Gothic 3. Uh, just remember, Mr. Snuggles is watching.